Oh, 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 okay, we're back in that space. And I thought to myself, I need to test if the game still stutters by trying to play the last boss. If you see a PowerPoint presentation in a few seconds, so picture for picture for 20 seconds, then the game still hasn't progressed. It still hasn't been changed, upgraded perfectly. There was an update mid-February. Oh, when was it? 18 February? Something like that. There was an update and I hope to fix this data. I played this boss fight for four times and it was always a PowerPoint presentation. It was always a stutter fest. Okay. The search is over. Oh, my horse rifle ammo is already out. So I'm gonna jump in and test if it works for once. And if the game finally is playable without stutter problems. But first, let's just let's just get the the face cam right. Let's just get the face cam right at least. We have that going for us. When everything else fails, troubleshooting wise, and there's bugs everywhere in my life. I hate stutters already. Is it, is it actually a PowerPoint presentation again? <laughs> Last warning, Isaac. I mean it. Daniels! I saw her die so many times. But it's better in the first game, the first version. Let's see, let's see. So far, not so good. It is always worse on your end than on mine, that's what I've seen. Also, I played the Dead Space 2008 first person mode recently, and the boss fight did not start up. That was smooth actually. Maybe they finally fixed it. That's not hard difficulty, is it? No. Did this change my difficulty? <coughs> okay. I guess it's still hard. Oh, it doesn't feel hard. Where's my assault rifle? I mean, of course it's easier, it doesn't stutter as much. Let's just ignore those bots. Let's not ignore those slabs. I just wanted to roll. I just wanted to evasive roll. That's how much I've played this game recently. I've played everything else. Everything else. But it does not start as badly. So I shouldn't complain too much. So here's the story in full with me in that space, especially the final boss fight. I'm recording in um Oh, I hate that. I was recording, damn it, and still recording on GTX 380. And so far, no game has caused me as much trouble as this game. God damn it, I'm not hitting the last one. 
and especially in this boss fight I recorded it for my first playthrough three times to get it stutterless it did not work it always stuttered don't do that for me that's not a ripper then I did a permadeath run uh, it was right before Atomic Heart came out So I actually was in a hurry to get the game at least finished. <laughs> oh damn, he actually came too close. Why do I still hear him? I don't know my weapon layout. And in the permadeath it started so badly that my PC completely crashed the recording. So there never was an official ending to my permadeath because the game just crashed. But basically this boss fight is so easy that it's pretty much not an open ending because it's well obvious I survived it. That's Except I just played it in the first person version of the mod and did die. But yeah! The other thing is... When you play this game for one hour and then encounter the boss it probably can and will still stutter a little bit. But since I've tried it so many times now... I don't want to dodge, I'm too lazy dodging. The other thing I could check. Uh, do I have a good same for the tempo cutscene? Damn, no clue, damn, no clue where it is. Uh, I got free. The tempo cutscene glitch, I got it free to four times. Must be something wrong with my version. Maybe it's just a steam problem, could also be a thing. But like I said, this boss fight is so easy, I actually beat it four times while it stuttered me to death. Ah, the boss Makata. And the only thing I will do for this game is mods, mod covering. Otherwise this game is dead for me. Death in the water, I mean dead in the water. Dead in the water. Death in the water is a game worth no I'm waiting for updates. Otherwise March will be more so focused on modding and permadeath. Finishing my Outrider's perma- No, the Outrider's. The Outer Worlds perma death. Outer Worlds gets an upgrade. A graphical one. There's nothing coming out in March that interests me, by the way. That's why. Perma death will be back on the road again. Then finishing scores above and Atomic Heart with mods. Especially Atomic Heart with mods. They have some. Nothing really too interesting. Besides the Robot Sister reskins. Damn you boring boss fight. Come on, grab me. Grab me! I can't hit him for crap. Oh, uh -huh, do we got him? Okay, yep. So, everything seems to work, right? Right, Leviathan? Oh, 
no need for the outro. Exit game. Exit game. Exit game. I'm going to check the recording anyways. And otherwise, if it does not work. Uh, I'm just going to trash talk it some more. Let uh, your peace out. Uh, I'm going to use this as an outro. Is that space still cursed and work working for me? No, man, no. It's rubber shooting. It's rubber shoot me, Patrick. Rubber shoot me. Ah, oh, I just want to test if it still starts us. And the first thing they throw at me is a problem. Nice. Blech.